Hey, what's up, guys? This is Matthew Armstrong, Living Parable. Um, having a conversation with some friends at Mosaic. You can check it out at the YouTube uh, video by um, going to the Living Parable in your search terms, and you'll find the conversation video. In that com in that conversation, we talked about one of the things was I was describing how I believe that um, the spiritual truths of reality are actually being manifested in our technology in the direction of our technological progress. One of the things that came up was holographic memory. My friend was like, no man, that doesn't exist. And so here you go, holographic data storage. There's a Wikipedia page describing um, the use of holographic memory in computers and what that's going to mean for some of the storage capacities and the, the um, the time it takes to relay data. We're talking incredible stuff here. Uh, and in the video game market, this article says that Nintendo is probably going to be the first video game console maker to implement holographic data storage. That's amazing. Okay, check this out. Yes, holographic memory is not only a reality, um, it's going to market. It's going to be a on the market really soon. Look at this. Holographic memory becomes a reality. This is uh, an article that talks about after two decades um, there's a prototype that's actually coming to market um, and it describes how the holographic drives have capacities up to 1.6 uh, terabytes. Um, anyway, it describes some of the, the things that's going to be used for and this one company and their their disk drive that's coming out so it's real one of the problems with holographic memory has been being able to make it rewritable but what's amazing in this article here uh, rewritable holographic memory sees the light it's very very interesting um, because what they found out is that they could use a specific protein that's a kind of uh, protein that helps organisms convert sunlight into energy uh, at certain stages. What they found was a way that could extend its ability to um, to to uh, look at this. The ability to absorb light allows it to create holograms and although the whole cycle takes just 10 to 20 milliseconds, they found that shining a red light on the protein at a certain stage can extend that useful hologram stage, the Q stage, for years. They're talking about using this protein and extending this ability for the protein to make holograms as using this protein for uh, memory and media storage. Amazing. You can read on here about how the, the tests and how they did it, how they were able to um, cause one laser beam to write the media onto the protein while the blue laser beam erases it. Um, down here the guy says a protein based holographic media has the potential for low, case, low cost media rewritable up to 10 million times. Amazing.